It's May 22nd, 2015 on Friday, 11.35 p.m. Up next from Dave Hodges of The Common Sense Show. How to avoid capture if you are on the Jade Helm red list. This is dated May 20, 2015. And this does not necessarily reflect my own personal opinion. It's up to the viewer to decide. I read for the visually impaired and small device users. So if you don't wish to listen to the entire video, please use the link provided. Thank you. It is the latter days of summer and there's not much excitement. However, one day stands out like no other. On that fateful day, you awaken to the news that the nation's banks are temporarily closed because some terrorist group launched a cyber attack upon all of the major banks the night before and you instantly recognize the lie for what it is. You have been preparing for this moment for a long time, and you recognize this event for the false flag that it is. You announce to your family it is time to go. You grab your bug out bag and you drive 20 miles in the opposite direction from your intended destination as you enter an underground parking garage. There, you are met by a trusted source. You transfer your bug out bags to their vehicle and leave your vehicle behind. Why did you have to drive to an underground structure? A satellite can be backtracked on your residence. It will detect your vehicle and the number of occupants leaving your garage, and you can be followed. Driving in the opposite direction of your intended destination may confuse any search protocol which will be based upon your known associates based on the DHS FAST program which is described below. Entering an underground structure will make it difficult to track you. The number of vehicles who have entered the structure are numerous and the NSA computers will have trouble matching you to a known associate if you have had cell phone communication with your intended getaway ally. Your cell phone is now your enemy. Most of us know about the Stingray program designed to track people as it is now available to lo local law enforcement and the NSA has much better tracking technology. The people that you will be staying with must be friends of friends because if you had communication with these people the NSA computers will predict who you will hide out with and you will end up reliving the modern-day nightmare of the diary of Anne Frank. Remember, the NSA supercomputers match known associates by email, cell phone, and landline communications. And if you have ever had a cell phone conversation or your cell phone has come within 10 meters of a person that has been logged as a known associate, you have been careful to leave all electronic devices behind in before his death, the late A.C. Griffith, former NSA specialist, appeared on the Common Sense Show several times and discussed much of the tracking technology that was available to the NSA as of five years ago. As you are driving to your rendezvous point, the radio broadcasters are telling you that all is well and that the banking chaos will be straightened out in a few days. However, you know the truth. The economy has collapsed and it is not coming back. And you also know that in the midst of the ensuing chaos, the red list extractions which will be conducted by Jade Helm personnel are imminent. They could take place in a day, a week, or on the outside, a month. Waiting for you in the underground parking lot is a friend of a friend. You have made arrangements to stay with this friend of a friend because it is not likely that you can be tracked to their home. As your getaway vehicle departs the underground structure, nobody will be the wiser. Cell phone precautions. All parties connected to your getaway have agreed to not have in their possession cell phones. Not only can they be tracked, they can be used to listen to your conversations even when the battery has been taken out of the phone. This back door was an NSA mandate dating back to the 1990s. 
demanded that cell phone manufacturers build in back doors so that the device could be used to spy upon high value targets. As you are making your way, your getaway, it might be best to lie down as you enter the new vehicle. Why? Have you ever seen a photo radar photograph? Your approximate location can be tracked by traffic cameras. What about disposable cell phones? If you are in flight to evade capture, any cell phone in your possession is a risk. The NSA has voice print records on all Americans who have ever used an electronic device. The voice print is as unique and as identifiable as a fingerprint. If you speak within earshot of the phone, your voice print can be instantly matched to the supercomputers of the NSA and your location can be immediately pinpointed. Therefore, your new host family can never have a cell phone or a landline phone within earshot of you. The same is true for a computer as they are rut routinely listened to even in the off position. Your electronic devices are the greatest threat to the continued freedom for you and your family. The good news is that you will not have to remain in hiding for very long. Most of my sources believe that red listed individuals will remain high priority for about 30 days. Question is why 30 days? Phase 2 The Blue List Under the cover of the chaos of an economic collapse, the middle of the night red list extractions will take place. During this time, cell phone and landline communications will be cut because the powers that be do not want potential resistant leaders to be able to warn each other. However, these extractions will not go unnoticed, so Phase 1 will be immediately followed by Phase 2, the Blue List Enforcement, which will consist of targeting a second set of potential dissidents of lesser value. These will often include the modern-day brown shirts. It is likely at this point that some in the military will question their mission and switch sides. Many in the militia movement will realize that the day of confrontations is at hand. Depending on how many soldiers and their units switch sides, we could see a civil war break out at this point. Regardless of the depth of the conflict, once the shooting has started, most red and blue list people will lose their importance to the authorities. In other words, if you guess correctly on the trigger event for the extractions, you may only have to hide out for a maximum of about 30 days. Bugging out to the country. Bugging out to the country carries more risks and benefits unless you can get out of the country. As a matter of course, I do not recommend leaving the city because there are just too many ways to get caught. It is of paramount importance to realize that there are a plethora of license plate readers in operation. If you do make a run for the border, do not use your car. The healthy side of your paranoia is about to emerge as we consider the fact that there is a sponsored DHS program known as FAST which is a DHS tested program and has been described as a pre-crime program. FAST will gather upon complex statistical algorithms that will compile data from multiple databases and will subsequently predict future criminal or terrorist acts. The FAST system can track 36 million faces in one second. That's why they call it FAST. The pre-crime data will be gathered through cyber surveillance and stealth data monitoring of ordinary citizens. The FAST program purports to assess whether an individual might pose a pre-crime threat through the capture of a range of data, including biometric data. In other words, FAST accuses non-convicted individuals as being a security threat risk of becoming future criminals and terrorists through data analysis. No charges, no police interviews. The system is designed to become judge, jury, and executioner. 
Under the Future Attributes Screening Technology, FAST, criminal cues are captured through the following types of biometric data, including body and eye movements, eye blink rate, and pupil variation, body heat changes, and breathing patterns. Various linguistic cues include the analysis of voice pitch changes, alterations in voice rhythm patterns, and changes in intonations of speech. Documents released by DHS clearly show that individuals could be arrested and face serious consequences based upon statistical algorithms and predictive anal analytical assessments. Most importantly, the FAST program has the ability to predict where you would likely run to in times of trying to evade capture. And this program is one of the main reasons that the massive spying was undertaken because the program has a unique ability to predict your next move. I am very nervous because this technology is a part of Jade Helm and their extraction drills. FirstNet. Unfortunately, the madness does not end with the FAST program. There is a new DHS-funded multi-billion dollar spy tool, and it is called FirstNet. This is a citizen information gathering device like no other. A company called New World Systems is in charge of implementing this system. The Radio Access Network, which is part of this elaborate network, consists of the radio base station infrastructure that connects to user devices including cell towers and mobile hotspots embedded in vehicles which connects to the satellite network or other types of wireless infrastructure. This is a search and destroy system as FirstNet is designed to hunt you down in remote areas. So if you're in a remote area this is supposed to find you. The extraction component of Jade Helm in rural Texas communities is noteworthy when these two systems are considered with regard to the potential of these two systems to abuse American citizens. FirstNet is going operationally live just prior to the Jade Helm announced kick kickoff of July 15th. This system is also about the disguised takeover of the Internet and all cell phone communications under the possible false premise of an emergency. Does the recent implementation of net neutrality by the FCC make a little more sense now? When we go into martial law, communications will be suspended so potential dissidents cannot warn one another and you have just learned how they plan to accomplish this communications blackout. FirstNet boasts a map along with the embedded graphics from the FirstNet website. From this, it is easy to conclude that they have developed the technology to track you and find you should you be a fugitive from their own special brand of justice. RAN has the ability to track you anywhere on the planet. Soon there will be nowhere for people with high threat matrix scores to run and hide without being found by this system. These two technologies are a part of Jade Helm 15 and real-time data will be available to special op forces as they carry out their missions. Facial Recognition Software The NGI Interstate Photo System Facial Recognition Plot Pilot Project is a collaborative effort between the FBI and pilot agencies to identify user needs and develop a useful investigative tool for the law enforcement community through the recognition of a fugitive through facial recognition. The interstate photo system provides a search of a limited population of criminal wanted persons mugshots using a submitted probe image. I am told that these systems are now embedded in the traffic cam system in use across the country. Once a facial recognition has been established, a satellite can be used to track the individual's every movement until capture can be accomplished. Hence, keep your head down while traveling in your getaway vehicle. Well, that might be a little hard to do, folks. Conclusion there are many programs that can be used to track fugitives that what 
is listed here. And the intention of this article is to get you to think about your own flight to safety should you think the need will someday present itself. I would like to also add when you arrive at your host's family residence, be discreet. Don't go outside and let your presence be known. Why? Because in the early days following the extractions, a see something, say something program will likely emerge. The authorities will likely advertise that a reward payment will be made to people in exchange for useful information related to suspicious activities. As we move closer to July 15th, more operational details will emerge. However, I have seen enough to know that Jade Helm 15 is very draconian and should serve as a threat to every American. My thanks to former NSA agent Vance Davis, former CIA agent the late Bill Palawek, the husband of my present news director Annie DeRiso. And finally, I want to thank former NSA agent A.C. Griffith for greatly adding to my awareness of NSA fugitive tracking capabilities. And you can see the video here by clicking right there. How to avoid capture if you are on the Jade Helm red list. All right. And some of you don't agree with Jade Helm. And some of you do. And this article is for those that want information on this topic. And it's up to you to decide, to decide pardon me. Uh, but it never hurts to know what to do and what they are uh, using against American people. Never hurts to have knowledge, folks. Please be safe. Thanks. Pink out.